Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Nida Umar and I make videos on Pakistan's history and geography and also videos on insightful creativity. Today I'll be doing uh, maps of Pakistan with you. Two maps of Pakistan. One would be Pakistan and its neighboring states and the other is Pakistan and its provinces. Let's begin with the first map. As we all know, Pakistan came into existence on the 14th of August 1947. And this is the land of Pakistan right in front of you. Before we begin to study any map, the most important thing that we all should be knowing are the cardinal directions. What are the cardinal directions? This that I am drawing right in front of you. On top is north. On uh, below, that is uh, down below is south. Then if you move towards this side, this is your west. And if you move towards this side, any country that's located towards this side, you'd be calling it as east. Okay, so these are the directions that you should be well aware of if you are to study maps. Secondly, yeah, there can be countries situated between north and west. So they'll be called as northwest. This is the northwest direction. This is the southwest direction. This is the northeast direction. And this is the southeast direction. Okay. If you remember this well, it becomes easier to locate countries and describe their position. Okay. Now, beginning with the neighboring states of Pakistan, this green line. Okay. This border. This is our Pakistan. Okay. And these are its neighboring states. We have four main neighbors number one afghanistan now looking at the cardinal directions where is afghanistan situated it's in the northwest of pakistan all right now the next neighbor of pakistan is iran where is Iran situated? Iran is situated to the south west of Pakistan. Okay. Now, if you look in the northern direction, you'll find another state here, and this is China. So, to the north of Pakistan is China. And if you look towards the eastern side of Pakistan, here you will find India. So, India is situated to the east of Pakistan. Then, if you look southwards here, what is here? Here there is a sea and that sea is called by the name Arabian Sea. Okay. This is the Arabian Sea. Arabian Sea. Okay. So we are a landlocked state on three sides. And on the fourth side we have our border with a sea and that is the Arabian Sea. I hope it's very clear. Now, we share the longest border with Afghanistan. And uh, how are we connected to Afghanistan? We are connected to Afghanistan by a pass which is called as the Khyber Pass. Where is this pass located? That pass is located over here. This is the Khyber Pass. Okay. This is the Khyber Pass. Now, if you look at China, another neighbor of Pakistan, how are we located with China? Uh, how are we linked with China? Through the Karakoram Highway and another pass, which is called as the Khunjara Pass. Where is the Khunjara Pass? Here, on the border of Pakistan and China. This is the Khunjara Pass. Khunjara Pass. Okay. Now, all of you... I want you to look at this area on the map. This area. This this area. Okay. This territory is a part of Afghanistan. And this small part of Afghanistan is separating Pakistan from Tajikistan. On the other side of this territory is Tajikistan. Another landlocked state which is part of Central Asian states. So Pakistan is not, uh, uh, Tajikistan is not a direct neighbor of Pakistan, but is separated from Pakistan uh, with this territory, Afghan territory. And this territory is known by the name of Bakhan. I am writing it over here. No, I think it won't be clear. Let me, yeah. 
So this is Vahan. This small tract of land is called as Vahan. Okay. So let's quickly revise it once again. This is the map of Pakistan. Which are the neighboring states? We have four neighbors. Afghanistan, China, India, Iran. Right? On the northwest is Afghanistan. On the southwest is Iran. In the northern part of Pakistan is China. And to the east is India. With Pakistan, with Afghanistan, we are connected by the Khyber Pass. With China, we are connected by the Khunjarab Pass. Okay. The border between Pakistan and Iran, this border line is called as the Durand line. Okay. So, that's also something that you need to remember. Okay. Now, uh, what else? So, yes. This is all. Yeah. Arabian Sea is on the south of Pakistan. Okay. So, this is all about Pakistan and its neighboring states. Alright, now let's quickly do uh, the provinces of Pakistan. Are you getting bored? I hope you are not. See, geography is very interesting. Ge learning geography makes you smart. You get to know more about yourself, your land, about your people. So it's making you smarter. Think positively. And you know, learn it with a smile on your face. And if you do it that way, anything can become easy. Not just geography, anything will become easy. Okay, so this is the map of Pakistan. Let's quickly do its provinces. Let's begin from the south. This is the province of Sindh. This is Balochistan. Here is Punjab. This is KP. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa a part of KP you know this this area that you see here let me mark it clearly for you so that you can understand well okay so this is FATA federally administered tribal areas but now it's part of KP okay it was earlier a semi-autonomous area but now it's a part of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa up there, this is Gilgit, Baltistan. Gilgit, Baltistan. Okay. This portion that you see here is Azad, Jammu and Kashmir or A, J, K. That is Azad, Jammu and Kashmir. This is the Indian occupied. occupied Kashmir see how easy it is so we have four provinces how many provinces do we have we have four provinces what are the names of those provinces Sindh, Baluchistan, Punjab, Khyber, Pakhtunkhwa Gilgit, Baltistan and Azad, Jammu, Jammu and Kashmir are autonomous territories ok so uh, and uh, what is the capital of Pakistan the capital of Pakistan is Islamabad. Okay. So there's nothing very difficult about it. Okay. So let's quickly revise. We have got four provinces. What are the four provinces of Pakistan? Sindh, Balochistan, Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit, Baltistan, and Azad Jammu in Kashmir are two autonomous territories of Pakistan. Fata, which was once a semi-autonomous territory is now has now been incorporated into Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, which is a complete province. Okay. So with this, I come to the end of uh, today's uh, lesson. Uh, we discussed two maps today: um, uh, Pakistan and its neighboring states, and the provinces of Pakistan's uh, uh, Pakistan's provinces. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Take care. Till then, bye bye.